Hey guys, it's Cam and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a really thorough review of the Nioxin hair care range for thinning hair. So I've been testing out a whole bunch of products for hair loss and I'm going to be doing a lot of videos on basically my findings here on my channel. So if you're interested in that, then make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and join the Cam Fam so that way you don't miss any of those videos because they're gonna be really good and I'm gonna be really brutal in them and really digging down to find out what works, what doesn't work for thinning hair. So stay tuned for that. So I never thought that I would actually like need hair loss products in my life. I've always been happy with the thickness of my hair and the density and stuff like that. But around the middle of last year, partially due to stress from like current events and partially from like stress from personal things in my life that I've had going on, I noticed that I was starting to lose a lot of hair. I would notice a lot in like the hair catcher in the drain of my shower and it was way more than usual and at first I was kind of like, okay, that's strange, but it eventually translated into like me putting my hair up in a ponytail and needing to wrap around it so, so many times before I could even get the ponytail to hold. And I was like, wait a minute, what is going on here? And so that was compounded even more because I stopped taking my birth control like late last year just because I didn't want to like keep putting hormones in my body. And so it turns out that if you stop birth control, you start losing more hair too because birth control tricks your body into like thinking that it's pregnant and so you have all those pregnancy hormones and that's why like you know it clears up your skin and stuff and your hair gets really thick and so I lost kind of like all of those positives of birth control and my hair started falling out even more and at that point I really started to panic I was like crying every day like where is my hair going um so much so that like I just got really self-conscious and I don't know if you've noticed in a lot of like my past like makeup tutorial videos, I started using like the heck out of my clip-in extensions because there's some kind of embarrassment there because like thick long hair is associated with, you know, being feminine and I kind of felt like I was losing that, you know, it's like your crown and glory. Um, so I started using my extensions for basically every single makeup video that I'm doing. Don't worry guys, I'm not wearing extensions. Anytime I talk about hair care, I just feel like that's so like misleading and I would not feel comfortable doing that. If I did, I would like disclose it in the video and be like, hey, I have extensions and this is helping them. If I ever get semi-permanent extensions or anything like that, which at this point I'm strongly considering. But anyway, long story short, I started panicking and basically going, what can I do to stop this, reverse this? There's gotta be something on the market that works, or so you'd think. And so the first place that like my mind kinda went, and I'd heard about it before, was Nioxin. And so that's probably the brand that I've at this point been testing out the longest, and really feel like I could give like an honest, like succinct review about whether you should buy it, what it's gonna do for you, etc. So if you're interested in that, then keep watching. So first things first, I was already looking for like another shampoo. So I went to Ulta and I bought, I do believe this is the largest size of the shampoo that they make. Now there's like six different systems that they sell and I'm using system number three. So I bought the shampoo and at first I was just using that for a long time until I was in Costco one day and basically saw that they had like the whole three-step treatment and it was about the same price as getting like just the smallest size of the shampoo alone at Ulta. So at that point I really figured I had nothing to lose by buying like the whole kit at Costco and testing it out and seeing how everything worked. So let's start with the shampoo because as you can see I have two of these bad boys and there's a reason for that. And that's because I love the shampoo. This is exactly what I was looking for. I had already been like needing a clarifying shampoo when I started shopping for a shampoo. Not to mention, I actually struggle with scalp psoriasis. Um, I'm gonna try to show you guys on the camera. I don't know like how well you can see that, but I do have some scalp psoriasis. Um, ignore like this thing. I like hit my head on a cardboard box. That's a different story. But this is actually helping a lot with that. Like I barely have any to show you. You can kind of see some like the residual redness there. But this has been helping a lot because it's got like salicylic acid in it, peppermint oil, all these things that really make like your scalp feel so, so, so clean. Like the cleanest I've ever felt. It totally beats using a scalp scrub or anything. Like this stuff is going to make your scalp just like crystal clear, super clean, squeaky, and amazing. 
Now that does come at a cost though. The shampoo's really drying and I don't recommend that you use it as like the only shampoo that you use in your rotation because like the step three, for example, has both sodium laureth and sodium laurel sulfate. And those are super, super drying like cleansing ingredients. So if you've seen my Careplex video, which I'm gonna link up here, which is like all about a nice reparative treatment for your hair that combines Olaplex and keratin treatments, you don't wanna be using this shampoo if you're gonna use a keratin treatment, for example, cause it's gonna strip it right out of your hair. Now again, I'm using system number three, and I do know that like as you go like up through the numbers, they get more moisturizing and like more for like damaged, chemically treated hair, as opposed to like the like number one and two are for like if your hair is virgin. But the step four shampoo does have like I think it's cocamide propyl betaine, which is an ingredient that I'm personally allergic to, and it's in almost like every single shampoo. It's in like 98% of all the shampoos out there. So I've had a really, really hard time finding shampoos. But this one doesn't have it, thankfully. And I do feel like if I alternate it, it's not too drying on my hair. Now my hair is like high lifted, so it's pretty damaged. But I feel like I can still use this, although not exclusively, and my hair is fine. So I'm gonna be rotating this shampoo with my Olaplex shampoo, because that one also doesn't have cocomitopropyl betaine in it, thankfully. And if you wanna see my review on that shampoo, my thoughts on it, I'm gonna link that review up here for you in case you wanna see it. But I definitely think those are the two shampoos that I'm gonna have in my rotation. Probably like alternate using them every other time because when I was using just the Olaplex shampoo, I did feel like I needed a clarifying shampoo in between. So that's where this baby's gonna come in. So I also wanted to mention like one of the things that's a little unclear in the Nioxin line, like this line for example, is for light thinning, and then some of the lines are for progressive thinning. And so I really wanted to know the difference because I was like, well, which one should I get? You know, I'm maybe having light thinning, maybe it's actually considered progressive thinning. So it turns out that the only difference is that they're putting like a UV filter in the progressive thinning line, and I guess that's supposed to be for like, if you have actual like bald patches anywhere, like so that way like the sun doesn't damage your scalp or anything. So I guess that's what they mean by progressive thinning. So I probably was right in picking light thinning for my hair. So yeah, as far as I could tell, that's really the only difference between the two. And so having used this System 3 shampoo for a long time, I do feel like if you have like really damaged color treated hair, then you're gonna want to step up from this because this is pretty drying to like a step four or five because you're gonna want that extra like nourishment to your hair. So as I mentioned earlier, this line has like a lot of peppermint oil and menthol and like a lot of tingling stuff going on. So the shampoo does have a little bit of that. Now, it smells a little medicinal and a little like menthol-y. It's not really bad. I actually really enjoy it when using the shampoo because it just makes you feel like your scalp really is getting super, super clean. And I like a little tingle on my scalp. <laughs> so that sensation is really like not too bad in the shampoo. Like I actually really like it. But the conditioner is absolutely the worst offender when it comes to that. I don't know if they put more in this or something, but this conditioner is like, menthol overload to the point where like it can kind of like sting and tingle your fingers when using this. When I've put it on my scalp, I definitely notice more of a tingle with the conditioner and I don't like it so much using this because it's definitely stronger and kind of like, what's the point here? So moving on to the conditioner, it does say it's a scalp conditioner and that you're supposed to put it on the scalp. I don't really know what the point of that is. Uh, I felt like when I put it on my scalp, it really just made my hair get greasier faster and actually like kind of flattened it out a little bit. Um, I didn't really enjoy like putting it on my scalp. So I kind of started applying it from here down. Um, as a conditioner, it's really just okay. I really like wouldn't recommend it unless your hair is like so, so fine to where all the other conditioners that you've tried weigh it down, then this one might not. But otherwise it's really just okay. So on that note, I wanted to point out something that the Nioxin system advertises. So on the shampoo here, I don't know if you can read that, it says derma purifying. So that's kind of like the first step of how they say the system thickens your hair. And I do agree, this is really great at purifying your scalp. So I'll give them that. Now next up on the conditioner, it says density is highlighted. And so they're saying that this conditioner is gonna make more hair grow, basically is what they're advertising. 
I definitely didn't find that to be the case. I don't feel like I had more hair growth out of it. Um, like I said, the only plus that I would give this conditioner is the fact that on days when like my hair felt so, so thin that I didn't want to put any other conditioners on it because I felt like it would get weighed down, that's when I used this conditioner. So that's really the only benefit that I see of the conditioner. And even when I used it, when my hair was feeling really, really thin, I didn't feel like it made my hair feel more voluminous or thicker or denser or anything like that. If anything, as a conditioner, if you feel like your hair is like really thin and fine, then definitely try using a protein conditioner. For example, anytime I use this Afogee Keratin 2 Minute Reconstructor, my hair feels so thick afterwards. And that's because like actually applying a protein conditioner is gonna plump like those individual follicles because it's gonna like attach to your hair. So that's actually gonna make your hair feel like a lot thicker than if you use a conditioner like this. Now, I don't recommend using a protein conditioner like every single time you wash your hair because you're gonna get protein overload and what that's gonna do is dry out your hair and just make it snap off and it's not gonna help in increasing the thickness of your hair if your hair snaps off. So definitely use like a protein conditioner every once in a while, like maybe once a week or so. But definitely if you wanna see some like more instant plumping results, I recommend going with a protein conditioner over this one. All right, so let's talk about the last product in the three-step system, and that's the scalp and hair treatment. Now again, everything that I'm using is system three because I bought the whole system three kit. So on this one, I just wanna point out that they're claiming diameter increase is the benefit of this product, which basically means, like I was saying with the protein conditioner, actually plumping like the individual follicles. Again, I didn't see that happen with this. Basically what this product is, is like one of those standard root lifter sprays where you're supposed to like spray it on your scalp and it's kind of like a spray gel or whatever where it's gonna give your hair like hold so that way you can kind of style it with more volume. That's really all that this has done for me. It's also a little bit hard to like use the sprayer and dispense all over your scalp because it just kind of shoots like a concentrated jet. So the way that I actually use this is I spray a bunch in my hand and then kind of like rub my palms together and spread it through my scalp that way. And I feel like I get better distribution of the product that way because otherwise you like literally will get like a clumpy patch. And I do feel like with using this product, you have to like heat style your hair because otherwise it's really gonna like harden and clump and just basically act like a gel. So when you're like brushing it out or something and heat styling it, that's when like I really feel like it does give that like hold and lift. But again, it's just giving like an artificial like root lifter effect and it's not really like thickening the hair in any way. So again, this product really just gives your hair volume like the same way that like spraying gel in your roots kind of would. But this is probably like a more elegant solution for that. So I think if you need like a root lifter spray, something that like you really want to be able to apply at the root and then do like a blowout with a round brush and really like get that volume to hold, then this would be really good for that. As far as just like spraying it all over and kind of like leaving it in and thinking that it's going to stimulate more hair growth, I really haven't found it to do that. All right, so just to summarize, the shampoo, I love this. I definitely feel like there's something to having your scalp be really, really clean and purified to help your hair grow. I've definitely noticed that helping like less hair fall out. And I was actually doing some research about whether like having really oily roots makes your hair fall out or not. And there's actually a lot of truth to that. Like the sebum on your scalp can actually like clog the hair follicles and it just like traps dead skin and stuff like that and really prevents your hair from growing. So I definitely recommend this shampoo, but be very careful about like which system number you choose because as I said, like they're kind of like the most drying to the least drying as the numbers go higher. So for example, on my hair, I really probably should be using step four or five, but I can't because of the cocomitopropyl betaine. So I'm using step three, and I do feel like I can kind of combat the dryness with conditioner and also with rotating to a different shampoo sometimes. But I love the shampoo. I think if you have thin hair or just really oily hair or like any dandruff issues or anything like that, then I highly recommend the shampoo. As far as the conditioner goes, I feel like if you have really thin hair and just no other conditioner works for you without weighing your hair down, then definitely give this a try, you might like it. If you're really sensitive to like scents or like minty stuff in your hair products and you don't like that, then you may want to skip on this because this is like the worst product in the line as far as 
like the super mintiness. Like I'm literally holding it and this is the only one that I can smell the mintiness like without the bottle even being open. That's how strong it is. And then lastly, the scalp and hair treatment. Again, it's really just more of like a styling root lifter, not so much a treatment I feel like. So if you're in need of a good root lifter and want something that's gonna give you volume while you're styling your hair, then this is gonna work to do that basically because it's a spray gel. Has this increased the diameter or density of my hair or anything like that? No, it really just works for styling your hair. As far as like making more hair grow or anything like that, it hasn't done that. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed my super honest, obviously like unsponsored, I would totally disclose something like that and it would not change my opinion whatsoever because I don't want you guys wasting your money and I definitely cannot fake liking something. So there you have it. And if you felt like this video was helpful to you in any way, then please hit that like button down below for me. Don't forget to subscribe because I have so many more videos like this coming where I'm gonna be spilling the tea on all of these brands, so you definitely don't wanna miss that. And leave me a little comment down below letting me know what else you want me to review for you guys because I'm so down for that. So I bet you're sitting there wondering what you should watch next. So here's two more videos of mine that you can check out. And then if you click on my face, it makes it super easy to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching, my loves, and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.